Good evening, feed my people. Welcome to my channel. This is Infinite Child, and I want to hear um, just to give you this quick word before the night ends. And I hope all is well with you guys. I hope uh, you know that you are blessed, and we are blessed. Amen. And of course, before the night ends, you guys, I hope this word, excuse me, uh, I hope uh, this word meets you where you are. I hope this word resonates with you. And, um, and at happy fourth, uh, early happy fourth. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are starting your weekend, uh, your holiday pretty early. And for those that are traveling outside uh, of where you reside or out of town or whatnot, you know, be safe. And um, tonight I want to speak really quickly about um, hope, finding hope, and knowing that there's a big um opportunity for for hope in your future but that's only if uh you accept that only if you accept that and of course we 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 can all make changes uh we can all have all these ideas about our lives uh ideas about how we want our family friends to be uh ideas of of, of our children ideas of a perfect lifestyle or what have you well, ultimately, uh, forgive the background. A lot of guys are out here popping fireworks early. Anyway, um, just please try to ignore the background. Uh, you know, uh, receive this message. And, you know, we all have uh, big, big ideas, right? And, you know, some of it, some ideas or some things that we do pursue, it will, we, we are able to acquire it. And some things, you know, God puts a put a wedge, a wedge, you know, because it's not for us, and which is a good thing. But you know, for our hope, our hope in in the present, being mindful of what what is now going on, and for our future, our hope in the future, you know, and we look, uh, you know, many of us look at in, into the future with with sometimes having anxiety. Uh, uh, you know, deep thoughts. Uh, like myself, I am a deep thinker and a deep feeler. And sometimes we carry uh, the heavy burden of daily responsibilities. And sometimes we are alone with some responsibilities. And there's not many, many people that we can reach out to or, you know, ask for any help. And how many of you are experiencing that or have gone through that? Which is completely fine because you are not alone. You are not alone. Okay. And we we must, we must, we must have strong faith. We must know that uh, we could have far reaching um, effects on our physical emotional, mental well-being. So our faith, we must be grounded in our faith. We must be grounded in the the plans that God has for our lives and that he knows the plans for us and the good thoughts that he has for us, amen, and that we do have an expected end. And right now, sometimes you, you don't understand it or you don't know what that is, but trust the process and lean on to his word and know that it shall come to pass and know that it's it will blossom. It, it It's fruitful. Amen. And it's what your heavenly father, our heavenly father wants to give unto us, wants to bless us with. Amen. Glory be to God. And the Jesus, of course. Jesus, the son of the most high, amen, uh, died and rose from, from the dead, of course, on the third day. And Jesus has set us free. And in being set free, we now have a hope for the future. Amen. And, and God loves us so much and Jesus gave so much and God has gave us an act of love. Love is not a feeling. I don't know how many of you agree with that, but, you know, read in scripture. Uh, love is an act. It's what you do. What love is and what love is not. Amen. Act, uh, love is an act. 
And the most greatest act, the most greatest act is that God gave us his only begotten son to die for us. And, and we have a future, a future. Oh, some of that, this word needs to rest on someone's spirit right now. Glory be to God. Let that rest on your spirit right now. A future, a future, a future. And, you know, our lives are redeemed from the terrible burden of uh, any anxiety and or worries. Because a lot of us can, you know, be in that head space of, of worrying too much and, and the anxiety and everything else that comes with that. You know, the, the mood, the, the mood swings and things like that. But rest assured. We bring, we take it all to Christ. We take it all to Christ. We, we we give it to him. We lay it at his feet. And, you know, those are things that we no longer have to experience or even think about or feel that, you know, it's, it's, it's with us. If you understand that it, it's, you know, it's, it's not something that's supposed to be there. And, um, we have hope and you are blessed with the assurance that God has died. Jesus, God is Jesus, Jesus is God, okay, the Holy Spirit, all three. Jesus has died for us. And the the assurance, the assurance of a future, amen. And regardless of any circumstances, I tell you this, regardless of any circumstances, you're in the assurance and your conclusion is, your assurance should be a great comfort and encouragement for you because we all have a hope. We all have a hope for the future. Amen. We all have a hope. And so let's put some word on it quickly. Uh, 2 Samuel chapter uh, 23 verses 5 says, Has he not made with me an everlasting covenant arranged and secured in every part? So regardless of everything, you know, your circumstances, you have assurance, assurance, assurance. You have a hope, you have a future, and it rests on your faith. And it is your faith, okay? And it is the word of God that liveth. And it's the word of God that we believe that work in and through us. Amen. Because we are connected to the vine. And Jesus is everything that we need. Everything that we need. Amen. So you guys, I hope this word resonates with you. I hope this word meets you where you are. Feel free to share, subscribe, like the channel. And you guys, just know that you're not alone. You're not alone. And as time goes by, as God's will 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 always, God's will and plan always prevails, right? So do not worry and do not be dismayed. As he said, for I am your God. I am with you. Okay. And so the, the full assurance that you do have a hope and God has a plan for your life. Amen. You guys, I am your host, Infinite Child. We shall talk soon. You guys, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your holiday. Be safe. We shall talk soon. Know that you are blessed, and we are blessed. Amen. We'll talk soon. Peace.